So with more and more shaft offerings being introduced into the market and more of the brands introducing more stock shaft offerings in their lineups, then it's sometimes very confusing for you, maybe as a golfer looking, well, what is the right shaft for me? So in this video, we're going to take a look at Ping and the G430 driver and their stock shaft offerings. We're going to hit every single one of these shafts, give you some feedback of my feelings and what they're trying to achieve and back it up with some Trackman numbers. So shafts, options galore, very confusing. Maybe as you as a golfer and a consumer looking in and looking at the list of shafts and what they're trying to do, some are high kick point, low kick point, flexes, weights, High flight, low flight, high spin, low spin, and the list goes on. So, pink stock options. We've got the Alta CB, we've got the Tor Chrome, we've got the Tor Black option, we've got the Kylie White, and then we've also got the Hazardous RDX Smoke Red. We're gonna hit all of those shafts in this video. All trying to aim, aim at a different type of golf, for different swing speeds, different deliveries, different launches, and different spins. So all the shafts we're gonna take a look at are classed as their stock option. Now, let's define what stock option is i think many people put the label over stock shaft as a cheap shaft that just goes in including the price of the driver and then you have your upcharges your exotics your high premium shafts which are always classed as a better quality shaft and to be honest they generally are more high end but to be honest the ones that come in in stock are still very very good shafts and so we're going to take a look at the alta cb first so this is the alta cb 55 cb stands for counterbalance now what is counterbalance basically it's where you add a little bit more weight in the grip end of the golf club so it increases the the balance point a little bit higher up the shaft so generally that helps to create a little bit more speed through the bottom of the of the swing obviously helping a little bit of distance now as standard the cb shaft comes in at a length a plane length of 45 and three quarter inches in length so it is pretty long when we move away from the alter shaft into the other options they come as standard at 45.25 inches so half inch shorter in the other shafts than the alta cb so the cb is really aiming for that golfer to try to generate a little bit more speed and some distance the offering in the flexes in the alta cb is a uh, soft regular so maybe your senior flex a regular and a stiff now they don't do an extra stiff anymore they used to but they don't anymore in the cb all the others I've got are going to be extra stiff, which is my playing flex. So obviously the stiffest I can get in the LCB is a stiff. So just do, we'll have to take that into account in the numbers. But I wanted to add it in there because it's a very, very popular shaft for many golfers out there. Okay, and that's flown pretty high there. A little bit off the toe, a little bit high in the face maybe, giving that extra bit of launch. So all of these shafts are going to be using the uh, G430 Max head, nine degree. I'm going to leave the setting at nine degree for each of the shafts. That's a nice shot. So this is obviously one of the lighter options that we see in the uh, in the lineup here from Ping. And the weights do just change depending on what um, flex you're having. So it does say 55 on all the flexes, but in reality, the soft regular comes in at 56 gram, a little bit more of a higher launch shaft. And then the regular comes in at 57 gram, a bit more mid to high launch. And the stiff, which I have here, comes in at 60 gram, which is a bit more of a mid flight. And you'll find that on a lot of golf shafts where they'll have a weight on there. It doesn't mean it's exactly that weight. It does depend on the flex. That's a nice solid hit. Just to touch up that left-hand side, but very straight ball flight. Lots of flight on, uh, height on that. Bit of decent speed there. Good launch. And the spin just under that 3,000 mark. Quite a nice carry number. Oh, that's a good strike. Again, just working touch down that left hand side it's a nice flight that a really nice feel i mean it can definitely feel like a, i mean for me it probably plays a little bit too soft so i can definitely feel a bit of give in that shaft but if you wanted something a little bit more maybe active in that tip again trying to get that sort of club really sort of kicking in there maximizing speed mix maximize a little bit of launch as well probably the cb is a great option okay Next one to finish up on. So that's batch hit with the CB. Moving now into the Tor Chrome. And this is a new offering that came in with the G430 lineup. So previously we just saw an Alta CB and then a Tor option. And going back, they were the only two stock options that you saw. And then from that, there were upcharges. Now, 
Ping have introduced, and a lot of the brands have done this to be honest, have introduced more shafts in their stock offering, which is obviously no extra charge, which I think is a good thing because it gives you more options to, to go out without obviously adding the price onto the golf club. So this is a little bit softer than the tour black that we're going to hit next. Great looking shaft here, like a little bit of a, a sort of champagne colour at the top in a, in a satin and then into a gloss bottom section into the head. It looks pretty cool actually. So as we mentioned, this is half inch shorter now, and this is their Ping's standard. Now obviously you can have what you want through custom fit. If you want it longer, you can, or even shorter. It's obviously an option to, to have, but as a standard, it comes in at 45.25 inches. Okay. So creates a little bit more of um, stability in the head, I would probably say, in this Tour Chrome against the Alta CB. And that was probably a good example. That was a little bit of a toey strike that felt like it was going to move off a lot more left than what it actually did, but it held its line. So maybe it's that a little bit more stable in the shaft. Obviously, the flex is going to help me now because this is an X. It's amazing. Just that half inch short just gives me a little bit more confidence of control. And I think that would be a good thing for a lot of golfers out there. That's a good strike. Nice flight. A little baby cut on that one and straight away I can feel it just feels a little bit more bit more solid. So I think it'd be an interesting one just to look at club head speed with that half inch difference but also then tying that into a dispersion and a control aspect. I think the other thing that will help with that maybe that slightly shorter length is strike patterns you know if we can for a lot of golfers if you can control your strike pattern in, in more of a concentrated area in the right part of the club head obviously more in that centre you're going to maximise your ball speed your smash and obviously potentially then your distance from there so Sometimes controlling strike and, and consistency of strike will help you hit straighter golf shots and sometimes longer sh golf shots, even though the club head speed isn't as fast. Oh, that's a good solid hit. Flex offerings in the Tour Chrome with the do a regular, a stiff and an extra stiff. And again, the weighting is a little bit different. So the X is coming in at actually 66 grams. The stiff comes in at 61 grams and the regular comes in 56 grams. So again, that weight does change as per the flex. So if you've got a ping driver, maybe a G430 driver, did you go through that fitting process? Did you try these stock shaft options and maybe which one did you go into? Post comments down below and let me know reasons as to why you went into that shaft. Was it purely numbers? Was it off a lot of feel as well? Oh, that's buttoned. That is a frozen rope, as they say. Okay, so obviously that suited me a little bit more. Going up in that flex, a bit more firmer. Let's move into the next one. So now switching over into the Tor Black 2.065X. Again, same playing length as we've had. 45.25 inches. So characteristics of this from what Ping are saying, this is a little bit more sort of a mid to low launching shaft. So maybe aimed at that player who's got a little bit more speed, who, you know, loads the shaft a little bit more, maybe just wanting something a little bit more firmer in that tip section. This is a nice little move on from what we've just done in that Tor Chrome. All right, there's a real toey shot and that was pretty stable. So I mean, I know the G430 head is an incredibly stable head. We've seen that and we all know that, don't we? It's a superb driver, but that was definitely a toey strike and that felt really quite stable. They didn't twist a lot in the, in the head, you know, through the shaft. And that's actually allowed me to hit that fairway. Ooh, right, that is absolutely crushed. Superb flight. Nice bit of speed there, good ball speed for that better strike, nice launch, good spin, very nice numbers indeed on that particular one. And I think that just probably goes to show there, maybe when we look at these numbers a little bit more detail at the end of this video, you know, your strike pattern on that club face will make a big difference of that spin number. So you can read up on these shafts, some will say this is a low spinning shaft, this is a high spinning shaft, mid spin shaft. Yet when you miss your strikes in certain areas of that club face, as we know, with that gear effect, that can really change those spins dramatically. And sometimes in the opposite direction, you think of what it's trying to achieve. So what I would say there, if you go for that driver fitting, always get on a, a launch monitor that's going to measure your strike, because I think you've got to be looking at strike when you're looking at spin numbers. That's another good one as well. That's a little bit higher up in the face. That was a touch higher launching because of that. 
Interesting to see that spin on that one. Yeah, very similar actually. I thought that might be a touch low, that slightly high strike, but that was very good again. So the flex offering in a taut black is only two options now, and that's stiff and extra stiff. So as it goes into a little bit more of a, a firmer feel, probably the guys who are going to be in that regular flex are probably going to move into that tall chrome. So that's where they don't offer it in this. Bit of a satin top section to this, into a gloss black bottom, very stealth like looking. If you like a plain looking golf shaft, this is definitely the one. Oh, it's a bit up the left. I've just spoiled me, nice dispersion. I was just thinking what a, such a nice dispersion I was having with that shaft and I've just gone and hit that one. That's, ooh, right, yeah, that's a bit of a reload, that one. Clearly that is more me than the shaft. Oh, lovely, nice one to finish up on. Very solid strike, great ball flight. Looks to be in the right spin area. Yeah, around that two and a half. So it looks to be pretty consistent. Again, we're gonna look at those numbers in more detail. Let's move on to the fourth of the five shafts. So we've now got the Kylie White 60 in X. Same length, same head as we've just hit. So this is now a little bit more of a low launch and a low spin characteristics of a golf shaft. So we've got a little bit more of a, a firmer midsection and tip section in this, and it's featuring in this MR70, which is a higher strength material in the tip section to create some st stability. So again, this is probably going to be aimed, maybe play like myself with my sort of speed, somebody who loads a shaft, who's a little bit quicker in the swing, just to stabilize that head and really try and help to control strike patterns. So this will be an interesting one to see if it does that for myself. So we've just got those little bit of um, white wavy graphics at the top of the shaft and then into a plain black as you work towards the head. Okay, that was a bit off the toe to be honest, but absolutely straight as an arrow. So hopefully that little bit of technology, that strong material to control that tip section, keeping me on that fairway, control spin, and that's done all right for a bit of a toey strike there. So for me really, I think when you go into that, maybe the fitting session, or if you're trying some different shafts, there's always that emotions that will sort of play a part, you know, your preferences to feel. Do you like a lighter shaft? Do you like a heavier shaft? Do you like something that's a bit stiffer in that tip or something that's a little bit more active? Obviously hook up with a good fitter with a launch monitor, but I think at the same time, your feels are really, really important in a golf shaft and how you react to a certain shaft and how you feel it in the golf swing. At the end of the day, these launch monitors can't feel what you're feeling, can they? So they can only give you some numbers of what the ball does on the strike, but at the end of the day, you know, feel I think does play a big part of it. Side by side, those two. Another good one as well. Beautiful flight. So definitely quite a, a stable feel to that one. Three very nice opening shots with the Kylie White. Oh yeah, and again, wasn't quite as perfect. I mean, when I say perfect, I'm not saying the first two are absolutely perfect, but wasn't quite as solid as the last two, but it's still up there. Look at that front to back dispersion on those uh, four shots there, very consistent. Definitely got that feel of being very stable in this bottom section of the shaft. So if that's a good feel for you, or you feel like you need that in your golf shaft to help with the swing, and maybe the strike patterns, then this could be a good option. Another good one. So some impressive shots there really with that Kylie White, just got that firm feel to it, but the numbers were pretty solid there and I quite like that dispersion, especially that front to back as well. Let's move into that last shaft now. So finally moving into the last shaft. So True Temper Hazardous RDX Smoke Red shaft we're looking at. Now, to be honest, Pink do offer two options in this in two weight categories. I've got the 60 uh, gram version, but they also offer a 50 gram, so that slightly lighter option there. It's a little bit more higher launch. I haven't got that and I'm not gonna hit that particular one, but there is that option there also. Okay, so again, same flex, same plane length, red at the top, moving into black, gloss down into the head. Oh, wow, that feels superb. And a very, very different feel there. That's a lovely ball flight there. I felt really fast off the face. Yeah, good numbers, but the very different feel. And this is the bit, obviously you can't feel what I'm feeling now with through the, the shaft of this golf club as I'm swinging it. And that's, again, this is what I was sort of saying before. I think this is so, so important. That felt superb. So this is a very different shaft and probably something that's not quite 
where I would probably put myself to be at myself to be honest typically I was like stiff in the tip really control the head this is actually the off opposite this is stiff in the handle section and more active in the tip higher launch higher spin is what they're saying but aimed at a player who's a bit more aggressive in the transition but wants that little bit more active in that tip section for the a little bit of flight so a great offering in comparison to the other shafts that they do and this is what the brands try and do they try and provide four or five shafts that hit pretty much every type of golfer let's see what these other ones feel like because that felt very nice Ooh, right yeah i mean that wasn't great it's flown very very straight i've just got underneath that one a tiny bit just popped up a little bit higher so you're going to class that as a pretty mi bit of a miss hit then yeah it's done well definitely a different feel through this shaft feels like i'm just sort of it's just loading a little bit more through that bottom of the golf swing Again, that was a little bit toe, but that's arrow straight. Again, take that one on the golf course. So not the longest there, because I've not really got the middle of the golf club on those last two. Yeah, I mean, that is, it just looks to be flighting a little bit higher to me, that, definitely. Maybe not quite as, as flat and as forward flight as maybe some of the other shafts there. So we know maybe when we get that, it's not gonna be the longest of shots. But maybe if that play, it does feel very good though. I love the feel of this, but the number's just not quite matching it. Oh, that's nice. I think I could definitely see on the flight there, that does look to be a little bit more spinnier. Interesting to see on that spin number. Yeah, three, three just over 3,000. Could just sort of see that ball just start to feel like it's trying to climb a tiny bit there. So obviously definitely giving me a little bit more spin there, just not quite as good, but I love the feel of that. So this is gonna be a little bit that dilemma, isn't it? When you're in fitter, you're gonna maybe see how you feel with the shaft, but then you think you've also got to look at numbers as well. And let's just do that. Let's go and check the numbers out on those five different shafts. Key down the bottom left here, which shaft was which on those. So, so the flashy white is the Aldila CB, moving then into the Tor Chrome, which was, a, which was a really nice sort of numbers there. Then going into the black, which was really good. And then I hit that real wild one there. Obviously, that's a bit more me. Then moving into the Kylie White, which I think feel like was the best in terms of left to right and also front to back. And one of some of the longest shots there. Definitely more consistent on the strike, which we're going to have a little look at in a minute. And then finishing up on the uh, Hazardous Red, which was just obviously a little bit higher launch, higher spin for me, which is obviously pulling me back a little bit of distance. If we then look at the strike locations, again, through those shafts, so Alta CB location, Appreciate there's only five shots hit, so it's only a small batch, but it gives you a bit of an idea. Moving into the Tor Chrome, which was a little bit more concentrated, touch higher on the face. Tor Black, again, a little bit more concentrated. Moving into the Kylie White, which you can see, as you can appreciate, I've got one little toey one there. The others were really good on that strike, which gave me the, probably the better numbers or the better dispersion, for instance. And then moving into the hazardous, you can just move that strike around. So maybe it's a bit too active in the tip, even though I like the feel of that, just losing that strike pattern. So club head speed all hovering around that sort of 111 to 112 mark. Interestingly though, half inch longer was the Alta CB and it wasn't really giving me much more. I actually just got the tall black up a bit quicker than the Alta CB there. But then look at ball speed, you can see the tall black just edged it on that front. And then look at this sort of distance. So we're gonna look at this dis distance and dispersion. So the longest there was the tall black averaging at 299. But you can see the Kylie White there, 298.6. Tighter dispersion, a little bit more consistent on the spin numbers there, the plus and minus. A uh, little bit again on the ball speed. The smash was very good on that and that obviously gave me the better number. So much more suited towards me. And I think definitely what we're saying in the Kylie with that stiffer tip section really helped me to control my strike and that allowed me to get my ball speed and my consistency of my numbers a little bit more okay always an interesting one i think doing sort of shaft testing if you want to see me do any more then do comment down below what you'd like me to do appreciate you watching the video as always and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon